Six story chapters, six challenges. Arthur Becomes is a Red Dead Redemption 2 mini-series that will completely transform the game as we progress. Every chapter of Arthur Morgan's story will come with a brand new challenge, ranging anywhere from gun-specific restrictions to ridiculous modern novelties. We'll see Arthur adopt new abilities, face new obstacles, and traverse the West in never-before-seen ways over the course of six chaotic episodes. Can we actually complete the game while dealing with Arthur's ever-changing identity crisis? Well, only time will tell. So join us as we take our very first steps in Chapter 1 as Arthur becomes the Brawler. Alright, so the Brawler, he's a, he's, a, he's a tough fella. We're yet to see an example of his abilities, but uh, we'll see in a moment. We'll see in a moment. There's nothing like crashing a party on a Tuesday night. We're gonna go and... Uh, you know, we're gonna go and speak civilly to these fellas, I'm sure. Alright, so we're encountering our first, uh, victims. The brawler does not give a shit about Dutch or Micah, okay? It, this is not a rescue mission to keep Dutch out of harm's way whatsoever. The brawler wants a good fight, and he is yet to get one in his 38 years of walking the planet. Are we about to bounce into action? Can we actually go yet? Yeah, we can. Alright, here we go. <laughs> here we go. The very first moments. <laughs> okay, yep, there it is. All right, it works. We're in business. Oh, oh wait, I forgot. I should probably not die, right? That's uh, that's a good idea. All right, let's not die. That guy is like approaching somebody he does not want to approach in a fist fight. Let me tell you that. Oh, wait, okay. Just a regular degular uh, knockout. That's fine. We don't have tonics, which is going to make this a little bit difficult, I think. <laughs> okay. I'm glad that that's in working order then. Good stuff. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'll be seeing ya. It, it's not as extreme as- <laughs> Searching cabins isn't exactly the brawler's thing. He, uh, doesn't exactly seek sustenance. He seeks blood. Alright, so you guys have seen the mod now. The jig is up. Um... <laughs> Arthur becomes the brawler. There you have it. Uh, we're gonna do some some damage. There, there, there is not gonna be a uh, a human left in the immediate vicinity of the brawler that hasn't been drop kicked into oblivion. Let's just make sure we get a couple of tonics, because as I said, uh, we do have to kind of run into the fray just willy nilly as the brawler. We can't sit behind cover and shoot a gun because guns aren't exactly this bloke's thing. There's going to be an unfortunate soul that tries to go up against us in here. I don't know how the game is going to react to the mod being enabled, but uh, we're about to find out, I suppose. Hello? Is anybody home? If I catch you down there again, I'll fucking kill you. Holy shit. All right, no idea what the mod is going to do here, but uh, I'm interested it might just <laughs> okay i was gonna say it might just completely ignore the mod completely but uh i love it i'm fucking in love dude what are you doing i'm just providing this guy with the greatest beating he's ever taken i'll take it dude that that right hand is vicious there's no surviving a right hand like that what do you even do what <laughs> what dude it's a right hand so vicious it just straight up turns people into fucking poltergeists Can you maybe just stay on the ground for three seconds? I'd greatly appreciate it. This is everything that I wanted from Red Dead 2 that it didn't already have, okay? I don't know if the mod works through, like, holding people. I don't think so. So tell me, and I want you to be honest with me, mate. What do you really genuinely know about rolling down in the deep? And you better not fucking lie to me, because I'll know. All right, nice, dude. Well, it's there. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's how we do it. All right, um, this is not Frank. I don't know. Uh, his name is Dimitri. And now it's time to go punch some more people directly in the forehead. Wait, what mission is this? Oh, we're going to save John. Okay, boys, let's get to punching things. This will probably be a short first episode, honestly, because uh, there's not a whole lot of things to punch in chapter one. All right, so this is going to cause a little bit of grief, but if we count running over them with Frank as melee, I suppose it'll be fine. But these guys right here need to copper beating first. This is gonna be pretty simple. We have got legs and hands of absolute steel. We can pretty much just tackle them head on, right? 
that was, yeah, okay, that's fine. That It's not really sending them as far as I thought it was. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's what we like. Okay, they're coming back for more. They, they're coming back for more. This is not good. These are not the opponents that I'm losing to today, all right? There we go. Yeah, I'll be seeing you, fella. <laughs> it's just so awkward for some reason. Looks like we've got, like, low gravity on or something. Um, goodbye. Oh, let's try and get one off the cliff. Are you running? <laughs> Oh, because wolves travel in packs. Wow, man. Rockstar really thought of everything. I wanted to kick one off the cliff. You know what? Have we hit a checkpoint? I'm willing to give up my life for that opportunity. Look, I know I'm just making this more difficult for myself, but this is necessary. Arthur becomes suicidal. Okay, relax. Relax. This series does not need to be that dark, okay? Plus, not much of a challenge. I just gotta step off that cliff right there. You, you know what I'm saying? So I do have to, you know, protect these guys, but if I can get them sort of close enough, this should be pretty easy. Let's, uh, let's keep it moving that way. Nice oh my shot. god, we just got a field goal through the horses. Nice, good shit. <laughs> Holy He's trying to run away. We won't let him. I think we'll have to let him. He's, uh, he's making good ground on us. Again, when I gave this, like, series a little try to begin with, we tried to protect John and Javier here from the walls, but it just did not work no matter how much we tried it. Okay, I guess that confirms that... No, that's great. That's actually really good news. That inadvertently just confirmed that, uh, Frank's melee is connected to our melee through the mod. And uh, now I can get out of this super easy. There's gonna be there's gonna be no trouble. That's some good stuff right there. That's, that's, that's some good stuff. How many times have I seen the failed screen? Ah, you know what? When I die, it's gonna play a little slideshow of like all the moments in my life, and at least 66% of those are gonna be the failed screen from Red Dead 2. All right, so the brawler is connecting his powers to his noble steed, and uh, it's gonna work out well, as you can see. Hopefully one of them go flying. There we go. The brawler is just gaming. There's there's really no stopping him at this point. What am I going to do about the hunting mission with Charles? I'm going to punch some deers. What do you think I'm going to do? That's what the P stands for on the map there. Punching. The brawler can't really read or uh, interpret and understand much more than punch and smash and kill. He's a simple fella. What else can I say? Charles is unironically my favorite character. Besides Arthur, I'm a sucker for Arthur. Don't take that out of context. Why do I keep saying that? Every stream I say I'm a sucker for something and it just always turns out the same way. I need to restrain myself. I'm not a sucker for anything. Although I do like Lifesaver Icy Poles. That shit goes dummy. The deer will not survive. I think we know that by now. We have abilities that aren't fully understood by the uh, scientists of 1899. In fact, they don't understand it at all. They know that the brawler had a tough upbringing. Growing up in a life full of bar fights at a uh, young age will do things to you. See, Rockstar is naive and thinks I'm going to play the game the way it's meant to be played, but that's that's just an idiotic thought to even have cross through your mind because it's me. Basically, what I'm going to have to do here is really make sure I try to conserve my stamina because we're going to be chasing some deer on foot and... Uh, it might not be the easiest task in the world, right? But we have a combat advantage, a serious combat advantage. Fists of steel, fists of fury. I'm going for it. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna bolt. I'm just gonna bolt. Come on. <laughs> Don't do this to me. It's Arthur becomes the brawler, not Arthur becomes the long distance runner, okay? That might be another chapter's worth of content, but not this one. We're gonna have to play this one smart. Charles is thinking, Arthur, what the fuck are you doing? This was meant to be a bow tutorial. And I'm saying, I'm trying to assault some deers with melee, okay? It's what I'm here to do. Boys, oh, you didn't see me? One down, one to go. He's a cheeky little bastard too. He's barely even moving. Come on now, don't do it. Ah, oh, dude, the melee is so delayed on this game. I'm gonna be able to give him a nice little left, right, good night with the position that he's standing in right now. You're fucking kidding me. Arthur, why when I press the punch button, do you just look at the enemy? Come here, little fella. Don't run. I know it's in your best interest and it's encoded into your survival instincts, but, you know, maybe just stand still for a little. Come here, fella. That's what we like to see. Nice, nice little field goal between the two. He got up. Are you fucking joking me? I was doing my victory speech, all right? Okay, let's try this out then, I suppose. Where are you going to go? Nowhere. That was... He just gave up. No, how are you up again? What is this fucking deer eating? Somebody's lacing the grass with fucking steroids, let me tell you. 
sprinkling a little bit of... Th this is not snow. This is whey, whey protein powder. There we go. Okay. I don't even know where he went. That's what we want. Absolute piece of shit. Wait, we got a bear that we're coming up against over here. Can we take the bear on? Regular Arthur definitely can't without uh, the use of weapons, but the brawler just might be able to. It's big fella v big fella. Let's see if we can find another way around. No, we were... Charles, I, don't th I, I think you're underestimating exactly who I am, buddy. He's not gonna stand a chance. Oh my god. This is gonna be our biggest brawl yet. We're gonna finally be able to stretch our legs a little bit. I think. Is this the big, uh, Colmo Driscoll mission? I think it is. Alright, so this is our big brawling moment. We finally get to show off what the brawler is truly capable of. As long as I don't run him into battle and immediately die, I'd say this is gonna be a pretty impressive display. I don't know. Just saying. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. That's just evil to have to put me through that again. I've heard that line more than I've heard my own parents speak. I'm sure of it. I'll take the lead. Don't worry about it. I've got a few scores to settle with a fella from another series, if you know what I'm saying. I've got some work to do. Don't even worry about it. Three Gun Gary, you absolute fucking piece of garbage. Boy, do I have something to say to you. This is gonna be tough, actually. The health situation is uh, not the greatest right now. I'm probably gonna have to focus on not dying more so than what I thought though, which is interesting. We are still going fists only, despite, you know, the added abilities. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge. That definitely makes things a lot easier though. That's great. Dude, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, that is so good. Okay. It's, it's just never gonna get old to me. Let's play this smart. He's dead, I'm pretty sure. No, he's running for his fucking life. I don't blame him. Oh, no. He didn't just activate what I... Th no, dude. <laughs> There's no fucking way. What have you done? Dude, if you're about to do what I think you're about to do, you got another fucking... You do... Lucky. All I can say is you are dangerously fucking lucky. He didn't even kill Micah. I don't even know what happened there. Micah was definitely still standing. He awoke the beast just then. He is very lucky the game decided to say, no, we're not going to do that this time around. That's dangerous to everybody involved. We're going to play it smart. And by smart, I mean doing stuff like that. That's, that's basically the extent of our thinking. Now, one thing you'll never be able to predict about the brawler is just how hard he's going to hit you. See what I mean? One minute it'll just be a nice little love tap and the next he'll bounce you off the fucking shack wall. We're gonna have to give him a little flank real quick. Hey boys, don't mind me. Holy shit, dude. Oh no, I'm dying, I'm dying. Relax, don't shoot me for a sec. Cheers. I don't have the health for this, but <laughs> it doesn't matter apparently. Oh man. Now, up until this point, I obviously hadn't been taking this challenge all that seriously. The brawler's abilities had made me overconfident, and I was rushing into battle with little to no sense of self-preservation whatsoever. With just a couple of weak health tonics in my inventory, unbelievably brittle companions, and a dream to complete this chapter using strictly the brawler's methods, I had to start playing a little more tactical if I wanted to get through this. Good. Not great. Not great. He's stuck. Okay. What? what, what just explain to me for a moment how that's helping anybody. <laughs> what, what are you doing? It, yeah, I guess he just fucking moseyed on out of there. I respect it, dude. <laughs> nice. All right. He's in a pretty good position. We'll, we'll kick him into an even better one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, good. Can we loot? We can't. We, we haven't even unlocked looting yet, which is a giant shame. It's going to definitely work against us here. We probably need one tonic left by the time we get to those last three enemies, and then it's probably possible. Thank you. No, no, don't do the weird thing. Nobody likes the weird thing. You're just freaking everybody out. You're just making it an uncomfortable experience for everybody right now. They're so brutal. This mission in particular, I think with any challenge would be hard because there's just so many enemies. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know what that was, but I'll take it, honestly. It seemed to work in my favor. Why are they honestly not doing too much right now? These guys are 
Yeah, they turn around as soon as I approach them. I just wish I could jump the balcony and get that guy, but you, you can't here. I can only jump here, and I've probably just killed myself. Oh, straight into the next room, though. That was insanely lucky. That actually probably just saved us there. All right, I'm going for this guy. Nice little punch, no tackle or grapple involved. Are we down to the last two? Oh, say that it's so, please. If this guy kills me, I'll have to resign from life altogether. Good. Have we done it? Oh, it's just this guy, our fucking arch nemesis at this point, dude. Okay, no, no, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a preemptive health tonic because he seems to have a tendency of just making me freeze completely once I get up here. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Oh, get out of here, dude. That's exactly what you deserve and you fucking know it. All right, we got him, boys. We got him. Boom, bam, bop, boom, pow. Oh, wait, I'm not following you guys. I'm meant to be chasing this poor individual down. Can we punch Kieran at all, I wonder? I don't even know if we can catch up to him, to be honest, but let's see. It might just forcibly put us back. Oh, there we go. Well, that... <laughs> That didn't go as planned. Why is your horse invincible? Can I send Frank flying? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh my God. Oh, you. <laughs> Kieran, I forgot we can just straight up punch you in the face. Okay. Sorry. Whoops. I can probably knock you out without killing you, but I'll just, uh, we'll spare you for now, fella. You're a good, you're a good bloke. I feel like I should try to knock him out though in the spirit of uh, our challenge here, because I can do it without killing him if I just don't go overboard. Kieran? <laughs> Isaiah gives me Wade from GTA 5 vibes. That's like the biggest fucking insult I've ever copped in my life. I love it. I don't want to be Wade. He's a crack smoking hillbilly. I want to be Isaiah, the guy who destroys his mental health with the 2018 Rockstar Games video game Red Dead Redemption 2. That one. I want to be that guy. I don't want to be Wade. He smokes methamphetamine. As Dutch says next chapter, Kieran, they're only balls, boy. Why the hell does Bill want to cut Kieran's nuts off? There's a little bit of hidden lore around Bill Williamson that might allude to why he wants anything to do with Kieran's balls. Geld here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why exactly we're using dynamite here when the brawler could obviously just punch the bastard out of the way straight off the tracks. But you know, we gotta do what Rockstar tells us to do. So that's just the way it goes. I'm actually so nervous for this because we could be here for hours, dude. Knowing Lenny, it's just, yeah. Let's strap ourselves in for another two hours worth at least. Okay, now Lenny, look, I love you, but I hate you. And you're gonna cause me a lot of trouble here. I almost don't want to lift you off the train. Ah, uh, I guess I gotta. Come on then, fella. But do not make me regret that decision, or I swear to Christ, I swear to Western Jesus, who exists in a separate universe from this series, I swear you will never live another day to, uh, make up for it. You want me to take him? No, I can get him. Goodbye, friend. I forgot I've got health to conserve. I've got health to conserve. Get behind the barrel. Oh, we've got some uh, actual helpful tonics now. This is gonna make it a lot easier. Listen, get off my train. This is not your train to be standing on. Go rest on that rock for a little bit. Lenny, don't do this. Don't do this, Lenny. You don't wanna do that. He's gonna do it regardless of what I, what I say. It, it just doesn't, it just doesn't matter. Wait, did, did I just click restart mission? Oh my, no, I didn't. Okay, so let's hope this isn't as hard as it was in TGB. Like, keeping Lenny alive was really hard without killing people, but... Surely- Oh my god, that guy just left his brains on the carriage door. Lenny, I just don't really know how you manage it. Like, you've really got to go out of your way to die at this point. I'm, I'm standing in front of the bullets. God, we've got to be super quick about this. Like, I don't even know if the speed is going to help us all that much, but... Stuff like that will definitely help out. We actually opened up a bit of a combo there. This guy's so dead. This guy's so dead. Bane. Bane. What the fuck? 
Oh, I don't actually have to wait for Lenny to do this this time. Feels a bit weird. I see you, you cheeky little bastard. I see ya. I've got my eye on you, mate. Cheers. Appreciate it. It's good to be back. It's been a long time. I know we're technically not the same character anymore, but it's been a long while. I'm happy to... I'm, I'll be happy to say goodbye to you, ladies, brother. Oh, can we take his hat? Good point, dude. Rockstar is scum. I'm just gonna gun for him. I'm just gonna gun it. They're not gonna see what's coming to him until it's too late. Okay, dude, I love how easy this is in comparison to TGB. They are just being demolished every second. It's super satisfying. All right, good job, Lenny. You're surviving a lot longer than I thought you would. I don't wanna give you too much credit though. I feel like you're gonna head out. Why couldn't he be this effective in TGB? Like, you know the hours of pain I endured for this bastard? That's more like it. Now you're acting like yourself again. I was gonna try giving a big explanation of the pain and anguish I experienced in this section, but let's just say that Lenny continued acting like himself for a very long time. fast-paced gaming in Red Dead 2. There's one last guy all the way back there. I swear to God, Lenny, if you die while I'm trying to do this, do not betray me, son. Oh my God, did they just trigger? Please tell me they just did. They oh, Dutch's voice has never sounded more sweet. He's never sounded more sweet. Oh my God. Thank you guys for sticking with me through that absolute bullshit that was just driving me insane you're a legend dutch cheers brother oh yeah i forgot about these guys right well we know what i'm doing with those guys and it's uh not pretty let me tell you that <laughs> that's not bad honor i'm giving them an experience they've never had before ready fella And with that, we say goodbye to the brawler. I know, already, it's like we only just got here. It's uh, terribly emotional. It's sad to see him go, honestly. I mean, I'm gonna miss the simplicity of this challenge as we delve into much more excruciating things. I wanted to keep chapter one pretty basic anyway, and I'd say launching people into the stratosphere with our bare hands was a solid way to start things off. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for giving yet another one of my series a go. I'm super excited to see where this goes. And yeah, I'll see you in the next episode where Arthur becomes a pickle. Hey, Lenny.